Welcome back to the motherfucking <laughs> Lab Boys Podcast. This is episode 49. 49. Oh I can't believe we're at episode 49. 49. You guys know what that means. We only have one more week till we get to episode 50. Uh, that's the end of season two. We take a two-week break and we'll be back oh, for season, season two. three. Uh, season two is almost a wrap. It is crazy. Thank y'all so much. If you're not subscribed already, make sure you subscribe because uh, there's going to be a bunch more content coming soon. Uh, my name is Oliver Gordon, by the way. I wrapped that 88 over everything. I am here with... It's your boy Costco, K Sean and Don Juan. Get your shit in book at Costco. Do it. I have a black oh membership. It's black the membership. It's just a black membership. No, no, it's an executive membership. Okay. Oh, you would know if you were an executive member, <laughs> you but you're know. not. You, um, you just get your shit in bulk and you get cash back at the end of the year. It's just good. You have to get a lot a of it. Cook. A lot of it. Lot you talk to me it. when you're an executive member. I will. You will. Yeah. You gotta be buddies. <laughs> That's the guy to talk to when you're an executive member uh, at Costco. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm also here, my man. That full days, y'all. Hey. Hey, y'all know what it is. Uh, E-Man is a ladies' man. You guys know it. We know it. The Lab Boys fans at home know it. Uh, yes, yeah, super lies. good to have you here. Uh, we also have a special guest. Uh, Spencer. Oh, hey. No special intro, though. But hey. what, what, what's your, what's your, oh, hold on. What's a nickname that people have called you? Spence. Okay. It's <laughs> never not, heard that in my raise life. Raise your <laughs> hand. <laughs> Spence. Um, E-Man's got one I've ready. never had, oh, my sister's called me Suspender when I was a kid. Ooh. Spencer the Suspender? Or just the suspender. Yeah, just the suspender part. The other parts can get knocked off. You like off. telekinetic yeah. lifting things with suspender. your mind. Hey, uh, we're here with the suspender <laughs> and his God. Spence the, the fence. The one suspender. Just the one. <laughs> hey, suspense. No, I'm like Spence the fence. Hence suspense. Okay, that's good. In suspense. Like. I'm in suspense still. Uh, it's the motherfucking Lab Boys Podcast, episode 49. Thank you guys so much. Um, if you can make Good it, we hope yeah. to see you next week filming episode 50 with us that's live at the lab. If you want to come, make sure you shoot us a message. Um, it's going to be super lit. Be in the audience, and you'll get a chance to ask us a question live on hey, the podcast. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah. Thank you guys so much. Sean, when does this podcast start? Ooh, oh, don't know my watch, but I still know the time. It starts uh, right about now. And it is 7.30. Email. Oh, it is 7.30. Actually, you know what? Sean, you had something that you want to talk about. Why don't you let us go? Well, dude, we was talking about... What was um, we talking about? What was we talking about? How? how? <laughs> we were talking about how some, some people think that our, our podcast is sexist. What oh, people, right. God? Just... Oh, you guys are talking about what I said, right? Ooh. Well, I mean, I could have gotten <laughs> Oh, sorry. <laughs> no, well, I, so me and, me and Spencer worked together, and me and you had a conversation the other day. <laughs> I asked you if, uh, if you've seen the podcast, and I know you were halfway joking, Maybe halfway not, but you're like, nah, that shit is sexist, right? <gasps> but we got into a little conversation about uh -huh. it, so I just want to know yeah. some of the things that you were talking Let about. Me, yeah. Let's talk about it. Yeah, let's talk set the, about it. Firstly, let's set the record straight. Hey. Okay. Straight. Where's the record at? The I record? did not say I've never seen the podcast because it's sexist. There okay. you go. I'm sorry. Clear up. You know, stop it, please. <laughs> what I said was, I think that there are sexist parts of Ooh. the last podcast you posted. Huh. Okay. Do you guys remember which one I'm talking about? Uh, I'm not sure. Okay. So go ahead. Like. Yeah, yeah. So the the one I was specifically talking about was the friend zone one. Ah, oh, <gasps> shit. Yeah. <laughs> wah, wah, wah. You guys, yeah, you guys know what I'm talking about. Hey, but I, I was... Wait, okay. Oh, I was... No. Okay, so... Because I said it went both ways. Just okay, hold on. Oh, let's let, okay. her, let, her, let her stop talking. Let I get, I get the both ways thing, but the only thing is that like, that doesn't usually happen. Even if you think that that happens, like as an individual, you think that happens like both ways. Most of the time, it's used by men talking about women. Am I right? Like uh, saying like, that they got caught in the friend zone. Oh, like her. Mm, mm, well, yeah, but I have never had a friend that has said that to me. Before. Like a girl. Yeah. So never. do you? Not, do you? Okay. So I mean, what I'm starting, but yeah, go ahead. What I'm getting to is that I think that the friend zone shouldn't be something that people just you know, throw around as a concept. Because the idea of the friend zone is that like, you didn't get where you wanted to get with a girl, so you were stuck in like second place. Ooh. You know, so why is that second place? Why does it have to be like a sexual energy that happens? Why does it have to be a romantic thing? That's what I was saying. Okay, so before I say my piece, you guys have- No, say your piece, dog. No, no, I said my opinion. I'm, no, 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 no,
Let's let's Dog, take the hostility say, out. Say it, please. There's no hostility. Let's take the there's no hostility. Hey, time down. Usher, baby. You know what? No. Peace out. That's good. That's good. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. No, no. Okay, so in that podcast, you were so you're basically saying that we talking about the friends that we kind of. The but concept the itself is. I'm and not we, saying, yeah. And I, but I'm your um, issue with it is that we are blaming the women. Yeah. For yeah, for like putting for them in that the space. Guys yeah. not being able to get what they want from. Yes, them. exactly. Yeah. In the podcast, and I think we talked a little bit yeah. about it too. Yeah, in yeah. the podcast, I said that it's not the woman's fault. I'm saying a lot of the times it's the men's fault. For not being honest up front, and I, I don't know if you remember the podcast. I remember we kind of talked about it. That's Crystal. what you were talking about before, right? <laughs> yeah, no, that's like what that. I was talking nah, about. Nah, don't lie, dog. Come on, dude. Don't lie, man. Yep. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay. Can, okay, can, dude. We're literally not getting near it. Let's talk. Um, and I said it in the beginning that a lot of guys blame the women because they cannot be honest up front. They cannot yeah. tell yeah. and express their feelings in the beginning. Instead, they just act like a nice guy and act like they want to be their friends when they really don't yeah. want to be their friends. And I said that on the podcast. Yeah, he did. I, I, um, so yeah. that's, that, I mean, that's just my yeah. opinion. But I understand what you're talking about. And yeah. I understand yeah. yeah. Just that, that there's a lot of focus on it. Mm -hmm. um, like, especially recently, just people talking about it a lot. Like, they get stuck in the friend zone. And it's just a weird thing to hear. Like, right. exactly what you were saying. Like, it does, it doesn't, I get that you're saying it goes both ways. But I get more what you're saying when you're well, saying, like, yeah, no, go ahead. I feel like it's just like a way to describe a situation it's not like i don't know i don't know mm -hmm. how, like the like i don't understand what the whole big deal is i guess i get what you're saying that you think it's just like that's what it is called yeah it's the friend like, that's zone. what people like you're call stuck it, in you know? it mm -hmm. but have you ever heard it described in a nice way i'm stuck in the friend zone actually, no, yeah. but, no but hold on Eman actually has said on the podcast he likes i don't mind it yeah i'm not like, no. I'm not like I'm going for the friend zone. Zone. Like, no, why did you just call it friend zone when you're with another that's true. guy? Why don't you like, just I don't say, get oh, that's it. My friend, so, like, are you friends, so are you mad friends. at the are you mad at the negative connotation of it being called the friend zone? I think that's what the term is made up to have. I don't think there's I, just a connotation. I mean, because I've heard people yeah. go like, oh, it's implied. Friend zone. Yeah, it's implied. She's oh, you know, she right. friend zone me. Or but whatever. like, as someone who's gay, guys, I'm gay. So what, as someone who's you gay, are, you're a little. I forgot about that. Yeah, but ah, like, so as, I don't say that to like my like other girls. I'm not like fuck. I'm in the friend zone. Like you know what I mean? It's just not something that goes in that kind of in different. It, it it's really specific so, to that. Like so, what would you call it then if there was like a girl that you liked? Because we when they were my friend. Oh, yeah, my friend. But they weren't interested in your romantic. Thing. Yeah, just your friend. Yeah, that's cool. No, but how would you describe the situation? The, the like frustration, your, right? Sorry, go ahead. Oh, are we, are we, are we you don't cut anybody off. He doesn't cut anybody off. That's why we got him on sorry. this podcast. No, I'm just saying like, <laughs> fuck, I really did forget what I was I'm sorry. No, go for it. Go for it, go for it, go for it. No, it's cool. Uh, all right, all right. Fuck, no, I forgot what I was <laughs> What I'm saying. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. I'm sorry. Baby. No, we're bringing yeah. home the lab boys. We're bringing on the bacon. This so, is why they love us. Oi, oi. No, no. Oh, fuck, man. This is why they love He asked me a question. <laughs> okay, <good. laughs> So I'm answering it. That's where we okay, were left off. So go. he said to me, What would you call it? Right. If you like had that sex like that frustration at the mm -hmm. same time. And I think I would just be like, I shot my shot and it didn't work. I would never Damn. think of it as like a whole other thing where it's like it happens so often that there's like a Culture around it. Do you see right, what I'm right. saying? I, so I get, I get that, but I also, what I don't, I don't find the the problem with calling it a friend zone, like because it's Maybe not because it's, it's not, it's the not, terminology it's at not all. directed. Just, right. I mean, at women, like it, we're just we're only saying that because we're men and it, we're straight I and we're into women. So like that's the only thing we can talk about. Yeah. Or, go ahead. <laughs> no, no, no. I just, uh, no, I get it. Okay. I feel like it's a good way to express yeah. the situation. Like, yeah. It's just, no, I get it. I'm not I mean, saying, that's all it. I feel like that's all yeah. it is. So that's how I see it. It's it just could like, be not the term at all. It's just the whole. You guys know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I mean, yeah, as I'm talking yeah, about, it's, I'm it's, just, it's, you it's, know it's, what I'm it's saying. Implied. Yeah, you're it's right, just implied, the whole right? like. Yeah. yeah, it's just what goes on underneath. What we, what you're implied when someone tells you that you're not like, oh, you're in the friend zone. Like, let's do it. Ah, uh, okay. You know, you kind of think about that from the Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, okay. That's about kind of stuff. That's it, man. Hey! Now we can finally do our shifts together. Now we can be. Hey. Now we can get into the motherfucking loud boys, and I actually want to segue off that um, into a question, and I hope you guys have an answer for it. Um, I'm sorry, man. So it's about having a type. We all have a type, a type of person that we look for. Mm -hmm. Where do you think that comes from? 
Oh. Elaborate. Uh, like you have a type. I don't want to call you out, but I know like the type of woman that mm-hmm. you would be like attracted to. You you as well. Again, I'm not gonna call you out. I look at that no, smile. Um, uh, and he's doing what I know. I'm always like this. Yeah, no, Rap <laughs> uh, but, but my type. But I know it. You guys know what I'm saying. We all have our types. Where do you think that comes from? No, um, you got a song. <laughs> I don't know, man. Dude, it's just it's, like what you're attracted to, I guess. Uh, like <laughs> that's a hard question. Man. That, <laughs> like, where does that? So, okay, where does that come from? For, well, I mean, I've heard. I don't know if it's true, but <laughs> I've, I've heard like like uh, for I heard my type for <laughs> girls, they tend to to like you know their dad, like someone that kind of people that resemble their father. Yeah, right. So I can't see that for me. Like, that's it's not, not true. true. It's yeah. such a Freudian, like old scientific pseudoscience. Well, well like, I've yeah, heard that's... girls say that though. I've heard. Uh, yeah, I'm attracted. Yeah, no, me no, too. no. I, no, I'm saying I've heard. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard people well, say that. I've heard people people say that. No, yeah. either. no I've heard it's that not... too. Okay, but no, no, the <laughs> other. Like for a guy, I don't know, dude. That's that's a good question. That's, I've I, never. I, all I've known is oh, I have been, I have go, been into the I same know. type <laughs> since I was you know, I always liked the the short. Yeah, here we go. He's uh, getting into it. Latina, <laughs> dark haired girls. I, that's okay, what I'm now, you what's your type? Well, why is that your type? Dude, don't, don't you, No, but that's your question, right? No, no. I'm just asking. How do you guys think that we establish types? Like you know, like how do we get? I there? think is this what you're. I think what you're exposed to on TV, I think people, you know, you watch mm-hmm. shit all the time. You you get used to seeing something and then you develop your your preferences and tastes off what you see constantly. Do you think it has anything to do with the first person that you really I was thinking over? it could be a little oh, bit of that. For no. some people, the I definitely first, see I that. See I think so. Like that, you said the first person know. you fall, fall in love with? Yeah. Yeah. Whether whether that was a full relationship, whether that was just someone that you were really attracted to, you know, like the first time that you really fall in love with someone. I, I mean, at least in my case, that's kind of how it is. Yeah, I can see I can see that happening, but I also think it's like conditioning of like the things that you see around you. Um, yeah, I, I, that's what I think. Yeah, what do you think? I don't. I mean, I, that's not. How that's I a hard feel question. At all. Yeah, no, but hey, it's, it's a loud boys, man. <laughs> I don't feel that way. I don't feel like. Well, okay, nothing. I don't feel like it's because of the first person I fell in love with. But I also don't think it was like the first, I don't think it has anything to do with like what I grew up around. Mm -hmm. But I have always had kind of a similar type of girl. Just like small with dark hair and big eyes. That's like my thing, so. Where do you think that comes from though? I don't know. See, you keep asking that. This is crazy. It's crazy, but it's like, it's also at the same time, I feel like there are some things that are just universally people's types, like what they find attractive. And I understand like they, you know, because everyone likes, no one's going to be like, oh, you know what? I love me a girl with like those, the teeniest eyes you could think of and no hair. You know, no one's thinking those like unconventional. You never know, man. No, but I'm but just saying. Do we love everybody here at the Lab Boys. You know? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Shut up. I'm not saying. Me. Everybody. Everybody. Nobody loves me with small eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Bald chicks? Ew. Yo, yeah, yeah, I'm about yeah, to yeah, list off yeah, everything. Yeah, yeah, no, no, I'm totally not saying that. Weird birthmarks? <laughs> I said tiny eyes. Like really tiny. Yo, I know, I know. Okay. I know. Um, I'm just saying. There are like some things that I think are just like seen as conventionally attractive, and yeah. I think that's like part of everyone's type in a different way that they describe it or look for it. Have, have you guys ever gone through phases where your type kind of changes, but then maybe revert back? Yeah, to, when you deviate from your type and yeah. you try some new shit, you're like, nope. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I'm back. Yeah, I've done that before. So is that man. only on looks, Steal it back. or is that as well like inside, like? Well, a little bit, a little bit of both. Because the type normally falls in. Strictly looks. Okay, because my preference and taste, what people are on the inside has always been said. Like, you always want someone that's kind. <laughs> like, I want a mean oh, chip. Dude, hey, so <laughs> it's not funny. Not funny at all. No jokes. Does hates it, music. Does, hates hates like music. music. Hates oh, music. Over no. four minutes. Hate that. Doesn't music. support me. Yeah. <laughs> no money. No of job. Yeah. Can't cook. Doesn't like big socks. <laughs> Big right. what? You done? Big socks. Oh. Yeah. Cool. Jesus okay. Christ. All right. all right. I'm done too. No. Okay. Hey, uh, to my fucking <laughs> lab boys, uh, and that's all <laughs> you need to say about that. E man, I know you have a fire, fire topic for us. Um, why don't you let us know? Um, 
I got a question. Ooh, right out the gate. It's kind of, I don't know how you guys are going to look at me after this, but. Just like this. Weird. <laughs> 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 no. Hey. You left the opening. <laughs> you know how they, uh, they used to have public execution. Oh, my God. <laughs> What's going on here, dude? What do you mean? <laughs> Are you serious? Yo, how do we go from love and like the what so much time? Y'all right? remember, right? Right? Y'all remember that season, right? Back then. No, right? yeah, I saw at least three, dude. <laughs> y'all remember? Actually, no. Uh, Alright, go ahead, man. But ahead. uh, what about him, man? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even want to ask anymore, dude. No, I gotta no. hear this. Do you see yeah, that no, transfer, though? Woo! <laughs> Seamless. No transition. <laughs> Um, well, I, I was just reading some articles like from Mexico, right? And they were getting a, uh, it's not funny, but um, like pedophiles, right? Um, the, the actual people were- I'm sorry, it's just like such a crazy, yeah. No, Come no, on, I talk, no, no, I know, I know, but you just, the way you came in, hold on, I'm sorry. Right, no, wrap it out, so okay, it out. No, take a breath, take a breath. No, no, okay, definitely it's not funny. Not that. Hey, we're not la I'm not laughing at the pedophile shit. I'm not, no, no, I swear to God, I'm not. Of course. We got so, a table this <laughs> Well not not just pedophiles also but like robbers and stuff, like not executions, but like uh Oh, do you think that's moral? Yeah, like like um like the 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 town being like the you know the, judge, oh, the, law. the jury, yeah, basically. Little towns taking over? Yeah, like what do you guys think about that? Like is that is like yeah, that was my question. Is that like is it, morally is, is, right? Is like, it more is it moral to just kill somebody for some of the heinous crimes. Well, let, that let's say it's it's a pedophile, right? Mm -hmm. Like, would it be moral for you to take care of that? Like, I think uh, in, in like a town like that specifically. Yeah, or, or like what is that? Uh, like, Why is every, that like now, like everyday life, right here, <laughs> right now. Like, no, if you're, if this you're a pedophile, it's all right. You're right. in Sacramento. No. Whoa. <laughs> that's out of yeah. fucking. No, I, right. I, I, thought he, I thought he was saying like you know <laughs> when like uh, when a small town takes over and they're like the government. Yeah, yeah. And that it's like, never it's works. like a mob mentality. I, I thought that's kind of what you were saying. Well, I was just asking if you guys think it was morally right to, like, execute, to execute people. Yeah, to fucking take it into your own hands. Like, say, to take it in your own you hands. Have you heard of yeah. Murder Mountain? It's that Netflix document. There's like a documentary on it, no. and it's like a, it's like a, it's like a town, mm -hmm. and they take over the government. Nobody goes there, not even the police, because they know they're gonna get shot. Because these people mm -hmm. like just are like no, killing true. frenzy kind of little thing, yeah. but it's terrible. So no. That's not morally right. Mm -hmm. I just think, honestly, dude, I think that no matter what, and I, I, know, never, I know, no, hold on, I know some people are going to have their opinions about it, but I always think that no matter what you're going through, you can be rehabilitated. I don't think it's ever right to Oh, just, yeah, I disagree with that. I, 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 if, like, in Europe and all these other countries, they have rehabilitation services as but opposed not for to punishment. All of the, not for all of the crimes that are committed. So you think mm -hmm. that... There's certain you, people. I feel there like. are certain people in different countries, Nordic yeah. countries, in Europe, and stuff like that, and they do not rehabilitate them. That's more for the drug programs, which mm -hmm. I think is a great idea because here we just criminalize people for having drugs. We don't do anything about their and rehabilitation. That, and that's, that that's makes wrong. sense to me. Even the robbery and the and the stealing, all that stuff. That's rehabilitation stuff. All mm -hmm. that kind of stuff. But when you start getting into the harder things, like things that are like so fucked up in your mind that we can't even imagine it. Yeah. So do you think that those you, people? So you think you can? And I, I understand. I, I'm not saying you should be loose on the streets and you could just, you know, do whatever you want. I'm saying, dude, yeah, there needs to be a time where you're away. But I also think that people can change. I know that when you're doing something for so long, you're just wired a certain way. But I also think. So that you think morally we shouldn't kill people as punishment? You're thinking that some th people that are taking little girls and killing them. Their brains are just wiring a certain yeah, way because they they've done it too many times no, and they can be rehabilitated. No, I'm, I'm, not, I'm saying it's they're they've gone through some fuck. I'm not I'm not sympathizing with them. I'm, I'm just but I'm saying that I literally think that people. I just don't think killing people is a fucking solution. Yeah, I don't think killing people. Is a I don't solution. think we should I agree with execute that. people. Yeah, as a fucking solution. And I don't mm -hmm. and I definitely think they should fucking be locked. I don't think they should be yeah. given another chance. Yeah. In fucking society. society, and you know, let to roam free. I don't think that, I, but I think that I feel like it depends we should kill crime, him. man. For me, it's I mean, so that's what, why so, we have the judge, the jury, and the courts. So what do you think? 
I feel like, yeah, like you should be allowed to take matters into your own hands when it comes down to stuff like that. Like if it's your children. But if then if you you're know, allowed to take you matters in your kill someone? Yeah, if you're if Bro, you're if someone, hold on. I mean no, but like if you're allowed to take shit in your own hands, isn't that not present like, anarchy? Like No, not like full blown. <laughs> like like that. Not like for anything, anything, but like for certain crimes. Like, do, but those lines it's are so blurred. Hard to do the lines. Yeah, I know, but yeah. cause then they can come back for revenge like you killed my son. And it does happen. Like, that's what I was talking about with mm -hmm. that Murder Mountain shit. Like, yeah. it does happen. You have that, to watch man. it. It's on Netflix. Also, you do. Kill everybody. Plug. <laughs> not sponsored. They're not. Plug so, block. <laughs> they're not plugging us. <laughs> what do you uh, think, bro? Um, yeah. So, if, is it morally right or wrong? Um, it's really hard to tell, but I also think it's up to what actually happened. I do think there are things that uh, a human being can do that I would vote, yeah, we should probably kill him. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I just... I just you just I, never I think that that's okay. I understand. No, it's dude, like no, idealistic. That's cool. that's it's fine. really idealistic to think like that. I just like, don't want like, people to think that like I'm okay with it. No. I'm not okay with any of that. We know. And that's, right. that's, that's why we were elaborating. You, just, yeah. you have the face. But that's I right. just don't think. I just don't think we should just. Kill. I, I honestly, but I feel like it's worse to put people in the prison conditions that they're in right now, especially private pri prisons. Mm -hmm. um, I just as bad. But that's a whole other issue. Life. The whole private prison. Oh, issue. That's a whole other. No, right, no, no, but right. I'm, I'm, I'm saying. No, I'm saying. I mean, a, we could really get into it. But yeah. <laughs> But yeah, hey. I know it's crazy. Yeah, it's the Lab Boys. Hey, oh, it's shit on you. Know. Lab Boys podcast. Um, Kashan, what are you gonna talk to us about now? Oh man, okay. I have a question later. I'm gonna ask you guys. It's gonna blow oh, you gonna ask me a question? It's going down. What? All right, man. Who are you gonna right. ask? Right. Forty nine. So I was uh, I was talking to a friend of mine the other day, and he was basically saying. I mean, we he had a different intention when he talked to me about it, but um, I thought it'd be a good topic. He was talking to me about a girl being out of his league. Right, Ooh. and in this case, I mean, it could be anyone out of your league that you're going for. Right, um, but he was basically saying that, you know, she she does this. She's like, you know, she works a crazy job where she's making this much money, and, and he was saying like, I don't make as much money, and you know, and he was kind of saying like, she, she's out of my league. Right, and he was talking about it as like it just presents a problem going for it. Do you think that someone being out of your league? Do you what what are the problems you think are associated with that? Or do you think that you would not go for somebody that is out of your league? I don't think anybody's actually out of your league. Yeah. Like I, I watch that. Hitch way too many times. <laughs> dude, dude. <laughs> I watch Hitch way too many times. I think we have the same mentality league. with that, man. Yeah, um, I don't think anybody's out of your league. You just might not be able to like click with that person. I feel like chemistry might not be there. Okay, that's a, that's a like, that's a good That doesn't necessarily mean that it's she's out of your league. It, well maybe it does, but I don't know. <laughs> I don't I don't know, dude, like uh Damn, that's crazy. Do you think it's more of like an insecurity thing, or do you think that somebody is truly not out of your league, as in like you're, she, you're like she's not good enough for you, or you're not good enough for her? I'm saying, is it because maybe you guys won't have anything in common because she's in a different place in her life? Damn. I so mean, I mean, yeah, like, well, like that yeah. defines what out of out of your league means, you know? Like, what right? Is that? I just you, feel like there's so many different. Yeah, there's this like, but but like at the same time, it's like yeah, you can. I feel like I felt you, like you were out of my league all the time. Yeah, but you, I feel like you would be able to get to them somehow, you know? Oh like, <laughs> shit! Even. Such a you could. crazy thought. You could. Yeah, yeah. That I feel like yeah, if you genuinely really like someone that much, yeah, you have a shot. What what when you said that you when you said that I felt like a yeah. lot of people are out of my league. Many times, what are you what are you referring to? Uh, relationships, like wanting to get with someone, and I'm like, oh, they're so out of my league. The way they look, oh, it's mostly what I'm See? thinking about and, when I think that's, out of and my And I league. think that's the more common. Yeah, thing. just the way they look. But it's also it could be just like having that genuine, like that immediate attraction to somebody mm -hmm. could make you think, oh, they're so perfect and so beautiful that they're out of my league. Yeah, just like in that way. I mean, I get that there was like a lot of components to that right. but I'm sure like a big part of it for him was just seeing her and thinking oh my god she probably right. looks better than me just because you think it looks so good Damn. I can never get yeah and I, I think and I think that's what most people are talking about when they say this girl's out of my league it's like you know because oh, they so feel ugly. Or, you know, yeah, yeah and they, and they don't feel, feel yeah. as you know, or you I mean, just feel like they're so good looking you're just like you put them on a pedestal so you think they're above you like immediately mm -hmm. have you ever you ever been with somebody that you have felt was out of your league? Like my every... girlfriend, I feel like, is out of my fucking league. I've been with hey. her for four years, and I feel like she's out of my league. Right. That's how I feel, too. Every right? Girlfriend every I've time had. you see him. Yeah, every I girlfriend know. I've had, I felt like they were out of my league. I Honestly. Who is this guy? <laughs> what? what? I'm serious. <laughs> oh, oh, I haven't felt like 
like that at all. Wow. Of them. No, for real. Oh, no, no, every girl I've ever. No, 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 no. no that's just because that's I've, I've always right. been so fucking yeah. like, scared to go up to like. Right. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it makes yeah. sense because yeah. it's like yeah. yeah. I always feel like that. Like nah, you know. Like, you don't go for it. Yeah, yeah exactly. Like, you know, she's not gonna fucking. You know, like I don't know. Yeah. I just feel like I just feel like. And, and I know that's a very real emotion. I know that, you know, people can get intimidated by somebody who they think is better looking or <laughs> but I quote unquote. I just think it's important. And I know it's harder than that. I know it's more elaborate than that to just having confidence and just going up to him and talking. Yeah, yeah. Not just looks, right? Like it's like my big but, 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 but you know what thing. you know what I think is crazy? I think with social media being where it is now, I mean, yeah, exactly. it's kind of a leap, but you guys are gonna like I think go there with me. But with social media being where it is now, like if you genuinely like someone, mm -hmm. that's a really big deal. Like yeah. if you legitimately like the person for who they are. It's a really big deal, right? Because like a mm. lot of the shit and impressions that we get from a person are like online, which we all know is not as real. Do you think though with social media and all the stuff that's going on <laughs> in social media, like people want to portray this image yeah. that they are living at their absolute best life, you right. know, they're doing, no. they're doing, well, yes, that's, of that's, course that's, they no, do but, that. I'm, but I'm that's saying, whole, so, but I'm saying it's like, it's, 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 I think it's unhealthy because I people see. are not. People not but showing see, like, it's, it's, like, it's, it's, it could go anywhere though, right? Because it's like people are posting like when they start posting like you know they got their, they have good moments and stuff. You're like, oh yeah, they're making it seem like their life is so perfect or whatnot. Mm -hmm. And then when people start posting shit like you know venting or letting out feelings and shit, what do you say? You hey. start talking shit about that. Too. Hey. I'm not saying you, but I'm yeah. just saying in general, people no, that's are a good point, always man. gonna be talking shit no matter what. You know, Damn. like some that's shit talks. And then good also, point. what I wanted to ask though was uh, <sighs> how. How important or how serious do you guys take your online image? Like, shit, is it really that important to you? Is that like, like honestly, it's not important. Because sometimes for me, I don't, I don't really like, like I'll post something. One of my homies will be like, "What are you doing posting this?" Like, I don't really give a fuck what people think sometimes. You know, I'm just posting shit because I think it's funny. Or, I kind of feel that because it amuses me. Yeah, right. and it's like. If I it like uses to, anybody else, right. hit that like button. If it doesn't, then scroll, keep scrolling. And it's like you like to post pictures of yourself that you were, you liked where you were, you liked mm -hmm. how you looked, and exactly. I don't feel like that's always bad. <laughs> yeah. I post, that's not bad at all. Right, that's what I'm saying. That's like, I'll post every month or two, and I'm like, yeah. looking hot. Yeah. Felt cute, Shut might up. delete later, no, you know? Yeah. <laughs> post that up there, wait for it. Wait or for like the post likes to blow you're in. you're drunk and then wake up the next one. And like, you're like, oh. What was I doing? I was looking good. No, but yeah. You're just like. <laughs> fucking looking fine. <laughs> 19 likes later. Look at all. Is it important to you guys or what? That, that, on my it's, you know what? I think like when social media first came out and it was so okay, new to everybody, I think that. That was when it was. I mean, at least to me, I can speak for myself. I think that it was important to me in the beginning. And just like it is, and I see it more prevalent amongst like younger people, right? Um, you know, they just got into social media. It's, you know, they're in high school, or whatever. But dude, now, now that we're older, I, it's not really important to me. I like to just post shit that I know makes people laugh. Um, get to get to talk about like all, I don't know I say get to twice. Get to get to you know I get to 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 finishing up. All right, wrap it up, dude. Wrap it up. Or just or talk or posting shit that we can just talk about in the thread. Like, but I don't. Some entertaining shit. Yeah. Or I'll just post pictures like what you are saying like where I'm at like or you know something I'm proud of doing or something that me and my girlfriend did and in Vegas. Cool. Yeah. That shit still go. Yeah. You 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 go back. Uh, I take social media a little bit serious. I'm pretty active on Instagram, uh, Facebook, not as much. I Look at flex, dude. Pretty active on Instagram. I am. I, Follow me it's, at hey, 88 over everything. Y'all know what it is. Uh, it should be down below. Right uh, <laughs> but yeah, no, I'm pretty active on Instagram, and so I keep in touch with um, a right lot there. of people that like music and shit like that. But Facebook, not yeah. as much. But I do think it's important um, for artists uh, to build your brand on social media. That's and take it serious. That's okay. That's important. That's what, when you were talking about image, and I'm I'm literally saying like that. No, I don't well, think it's. I was, I was talking about like personal profile, not like you know. Oh, you mean like yeah. Or it's like the whole marketing is important. No, like, I was talking about personal Duh. profile. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> Um, you but mean yeah, just I, like your image and how you like portray. Because no, I don't not, think not like when I when stuff, I post what, on social media, I'm not thinking like. Okay, uh, I gotta keep up to this image, or I gotta. Oh, dude, that's, yeah, that's okay, where okay. I was getting. I'm not, I think I don't it, think it about is that. like that for some people. Yeah, that's what shit. I'm saying. And it's, yeah, my girlfriend deleted her Instagram like full, like almost a year ago because she was like had like four thousand followers or something, and she felt like she had to like 
keep what? up how she looked. Damn. Wow. Right? Damn. So she deleted it. She hasn't had it for like a year and it's been so much better. How's she feel? Oh, great. Yeah. She, oh, she, she, yeah. she's more happy with Yeah, she it? did it on purpose because she yeah. felt the same way you guys were talking about. Like, you know, Damn. feeling like your image is... I admire that. I think it's dope. I it think is. it's cool. Like, if you can... If I you, couldn't. If you can... I got the meme. Look. Where am I going to get the memes? Oh, the memes. <laughs> the memes. Where am I going to get my supply? I got a steady supplier uh, right Sean, now. why don't you press that button for me, man? Oh, let's oh, damn. Let's we already press, hit a quick 30. Let's press that button. Wow, hey, let's do a high five first. All right, quick, press it. Go, go, hey, go. Uh, and we are back with the motherfucking Lab Boys podcast. Episode 49. I have a question for you guys. We haven't done something like this in a long time. Oh, It's, it's not the wild card. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> The wild what? card is coming back for episode 50, though, you guys. Uh, Just wait on it. Uh, it's uh, either or. I'm just or. Gonna ask you. Oh, you're going to play a little game with us? I'm going to ask you. Oh, how old are you? Nope. I'm just going to ask you which one is <laughs> better. Kidding. Which one is better? There's easels over there. Britney Spears or Lady Gaga? Lady Gaga. Britney Spears. Lady Gaga. Lady Gaga. Gaga, bro. Britney Gaga Spears. all the way. Okay, but there's rah, so many different rah, components. Rah, 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 rah. I'm just asking. Hold on. I'm just asking. I'm just saying one of them went through a crazy mental health crisis and survived. <laughs> yeah, Britney did. did Let's both, go, Britney! They both did. Um, I'm sorry, Britney 2007. Let's not even try to top oh, okay. that. All right, all right, all right. I feel like, I feel Let's like be real. I, dude, I don't know why I feel like Gaga is this like. Okay, but smart, Britney like, Spears. Okay, genius, no, I'm not. Like, Britney Spears is fucking amazing. Lab boys, baby. fucking amazing. She's and right. she's hot. And she's hotter. Okay, what's that one okay. song she did? But um, she okay, and Britney Spears can <laughs> dance. Her little ass off. Yeah, little <laughs> bubble, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh my god! She can dance the night away, dog. Oh. Dude, and she's like a, the dopest performer. But I, but I, but, I, but creativity wise, that's right. It, that's later. right. Yep. Ooh. That's right. Okay. That's right. Shit. I was actually kind of split yeah. down the middle, man. I wasn't sure. You got to pick one, bro. I'm thinking if I had to pick, I'd say Brittany, dude. Ah. Just because she's more of an icon, I want to <laughs> say. Thanks, man. Thanks, man. You, you really got me there. I wanna, I, no, but really I mean, me he's like, don't fucking touch there, me. There's, there's, a lot more, <laughs> there's a lot more categories you can like break them down into, but if you think, I don't know, Britney Spears has more of like an icon feel, like, and even her story, she's just a legend. Maybe now, I don't think she's like... She probably wouldn't sell as much as like Lady Gaga and like you know Lady Gaga's doing more shit. Mm -hmm. But I think Britney Spears overall. Um, yes, yeah. bitch. Yeah. She, <laughs> she was like the one back in the day when we were coming up. Man, that yeah, was like she the was. shit, dude. Fucking a Britney Spears uh, feature. Man, if we got and Britney the Spears, fact that she's normal now. Uh, she's not normal. What are you talking about? about? She's better. She's better than what she was. What are you guys talking about? I haven't heard anything about her though. I haven't like. I follow her on Instagram. Yeah, I don't know. I. She calls me every day. Britney is normal. She's normal. She's trying to be on she's the Whole Foods. She looks better, guys. She's, she's trying to be on the Whole She looks better. Ways. Okay, dope. <laughs> <She> <laughs> what, wait, why do you think she's not better? No, I guess I haven't seen her in a long time. Oh, then I, shut I, up! It's completely I'm like, oh yeah, fuck you. Shut up! I'm used, to see, I'm used to seeing headlines of her looking pretty busted. Back, like, 10 years ago? No, no, like, recently, <laughs> no. No, no, recently. No, no, no. You mean no, no, no. <laughs> this is um, yeah, very <laughs> recently, shout out to Brandy, man. <laughs> Whoever you're at, we hope you. No, enjoy. she's she's one of our yeah, supporters. She's <laughs> no, so, she's one of our supporters. I've been she's working on it. Uh, Brandy, we love you here the Lab Boys Shut podcast, up. and also Lady Gaga. <laughs> hey, it's one of the fucking Lab Boys. You meant anything you want to say before we wrap that topic up? <laughs> nah, we good, yo. Gaga <laughs> all the way. <laughs> Gaga, hey, hey. Gaga, Gaga. Uh, so what's up next, Winston? Oh, what is up next? Hey, I got a question. Hip hop, I guess you know, art, music. Um, so as an artist, uh, but I'm gonna as, as an, an artist, as an artist, as an artist. Are you okay? Um, <laughs> Steve McGrath. I told you not to wear the hat, dude. I told you to, dude. We and, I, and, and you know what? I'm going to do it anyway. I don't give a fuck. No, email. Don't give a fuck. Tell me. Um. As an artist, do you think it's uh it's uh, it's okay for you to switch up what you do because your audience wants you to? Like Shit. say say you're doing hip hop, mm -hmm. right? And then your artist or your audience is like, nah, you want to hear like R and B, okay? Right? Do you think? Oh, go, go oh, I'm sorry. Um, no, I don't. I think, dude, as long as inside you want to do it, like sometimes sometimes the audience might want that if it. If you feel the same way and it's something that you inside want to do, I don't think you should be influenced by the artist all the way. I think if it's something you want to do, then do yeah, it. Yeah, I feel like, like the audience is trying. Dude, if you need like money, then <laughs> <laughs> do it. Then, yeah, you, you have, do you what your audience wants to do. Yeah, you have to do what your audience does because that's like your nah, paycheck, right? Nah. But if 
I if, agree, no. if you don't need money and you can afford to be genuine in your music, be genuine. Like, okay, so that brings up another question. So if you do do that, <laughs> then you're not being then you're not being genuine. You're being fake. Or? No, not at all. I think if your audience is like, "Yo, we want to hear more of this from you," and you're like, "You know what? That's like not necessarily the stuff I do, but I can do that," and you do it. See, yeah, that's fine. Like, dude, if it's if it's something that like you th- see yourself doing and you see that you can be good at it and that you can actually take pride in that, then that's fine. You can do it. But if it's something that you're solely doing because the audience wants you to do it and it's not something that you ever saw yourself doing, then I don't think you should go down that road. I feel that same way. Yeah? What do you yeah. think, Spencer? I was going to say that. Well, like, uh, like, <laughs> like, <'cause> like <laughs> Fucking no! <laughs> What do you think? I don't know. I have or just, no, I mean, to I feel anything. Like, like, I feel like, yeah, well, I kind of agree with what you said at the beginning. Like, if you do still want to do it, then you should. But if it's something that's, like, taking away from, like, your talent or what you're actually good at, I think mm-hmm. you should just stay away from it. Because that does happen sometimes where artists, like, they'll try to go there where their audience is going or where they're trying to and cater to those people. Like, and they just don't line. do, yeah, they yeah, just they don't fed. do good. Like, like Wayne did rock. Yeah, fucking, someone's in country, uh, yeah, okay, Lady Gaga, I'm sorry, Lady Gaga did that country song that just came out, you guys know what I'm talking about? I haven't heard that. Shallow? No. It's with that acoustic guy. Can you guy. sing it? No. And it's so not, I, 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 it's, it's not, I don't like, like it. no. Right. Yeah, it's a no from me. But I get that it was like a big movie and like she got nominated oh, yeah, for, for the, it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it's like, it. also you're making money, but also her talent so much better put into her own songwriting with like yeah. all the shit she does you know with the back I don't right. know yeah I think dude I think a lot of the people that um I think a lot of people that do what they want maybe that it doesn't reach people at first but dude after a while if you're fucking good at it and you're passionate about it like look at all the fucking greats that did something totally fucking but different, they, right? And they fucking people rode their wave instead of them trying to find whatever's fucking popular. The niche, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, you know, it, they created their own fucking lane, and that's what's important. I think. I do think there's a big difference between just like uh, what's popular and then like your core fans, because I do think that you should listen to your core fans as a musician. Like, and, and I, when I say core, I mean the people that genuinely like your music, connect with it, understand the message, and actually invest in you. Uh, you know, and your success as a musician. I think you should also listen to your fans, but there's also like another wave of people that may have just heard about your music. They're new fans, and they're right. like, "Yo, man, yeah. I want to see you do this, this, this." Your fans started following you because you started doing what the fuck you we wanted to do, and they fucking wrote on that hype. They never told them what they want to do. Like Ti, Ti fucking got rich, and <laughs> they were like. They're like, dude, we missed the old T.I., we missed the trap T.I., T.I.'s fucking rich, and then he went back to making trap fucking music, like, s- like straight okay, in, yeah, the, like, yeah, before yeah. Dimes, like, he went, he did an album where he was, like, back in the hood, selling drugs, like, back talking about all this shit, and, yeah. I, and I'm like, dude, what the fuck are, like, you want to, as an artist, you got to evolve, and people are going to always be like, oh, I liked your old shit, but yeah, the dude he, fucking grew up, man, <laughs> <they're going laughs> that not selling drugs no more, man, he's not in the hood, yeah. fuck, you want to hear him rap in the hood for it? No, you right, you, you right. right, you right, thank you, thank you, Fucking rapper, oh, thank thank you. You. We, don't, we don't support rap in, uh, in the hood, I guess. Um, <laughs> no, I mean, I ride. Fuck. I rap in the hood. Now, um, so I have a question for you guys. Valentine's Day. Yeah. Oh, it, what about it? It just passed, and I hope you guys Shut. have a really... <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Fuck you! I hope you guys, <laughs> no, had, I love hope you guys had a fun Valentine's Day. We never talk about like our personal like shit, what we do. We That's would. good. Next podcast, but not this podcast. Um, so I have a question for you guys, and this one is... Oh, I'm not good. Should you buy... This is a scenario... Let's say you were with someone, had a kid with them, right? Yeah. No longer with them. Should you buy that person something for Valentine's Day? What? Still, oh, why? The person that you're not with. Oh, the person that you're not with. The person that you're not with, but, you, you're not with, but you have a kid with. To show you, to show your kid. Mother's like, hey, Day, bitch. Go back to that. Time. Valentine's no. Day's for the. Yeah. Ass. Uh, yeah. I mean, why would you go? Oh okay, shit! No, but hold on. But he said. That, Am I wrong? But no, said, no but, it, but she answered that Mother's Day. I did answer that. Oh. Go to Mother's oh, Day. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Why? Why are you yeah, doing yeah. Valentine's no, Day? I mean, no. It's, I agree. It depends, dude. Why like, are you? If buttering I mean, up no, something, no, no, you're gonna I'm hit asking, at the end of it. I'm sorry, but <laughs> what? I just don't get it. Like, why would you? I feel like if you're not getting that ass, it depends. What's the point? <laughs> Good. It depends whether or not you want to have a conversation with your kid about that. Yeah. Like if you don't 
want you, you know, to really talk or have that combo with your kid, then maybe you should. What combo? Yeah. I think. Well, like to, if they ask, like, oh, it's Valentine's Day, like, why didn't you? But she, we're but not the together. Kid, yeah, the kid should know that you guys are not like, together. Yeah. I think you can have a fucking respect for right. the mother of your child without so, having to buy a gift I, for it. I, I say it because I've seen it both ways, and I've seen it pop up on Twitter where like right. chicks will like repost it, like, oh, here's like this dude, like, I can't, it's so sweet, like he's like yeah. uh, showing like his daughter, blah blah blah, like a healthy relationship. I don't think there's anything so wrong like with that. that either though. I don't think there's Yeah, because it's that well no. How is it a healthy relationship? You guys aren't even together. Like That's true. No, no I, because it's a, it's still like a uh, like a bond. But like okay, like when you well okay, so you can get him some flowers. That's not the flower of love. Mother's Day though. What's the No, difference? but like the way I feel like like for us, like Mexicans, oh. Valentine's Day is, oh, is the we're day. Out of here it's now. not. It's not. It's not just the day for like love. You're like your significant other, or your wife, or whatever. It's like love, like just all love, like bonds. And well, it could be like, cultural too. Yeah. Bonds. So, so like, it doesn't. You're not trying to be romantic. Like, if you, I mean, you yeah. could. But they wouldn't. I mean, honestly, like, it's something I wouldn't. I wouldn't do it. Um, but I don't think it sends a. a a bad message to the kid hey. if you get them a gift no, it's, it's um, a but I, I just don't think it's something that you need to do or yeah. something that you're not a bad person if you don't do it yeah, yeah. like cuz like what she said Mother's Day is a perfect occasion yeah. for you to do but something I feel like, like that. even then I don't feel like you have to and, either, and like I said oh, you should still you can still you not even on Mother's Day no. you can yeah. I know well, if, if, you're not, if you're not with that person <laughs> Huh? The way I see it, if you're not with that person, then for whatever reason, I don't think you ever need to get a gift for somebody that you're, you're not, not with. Yeah. Shit. You never have to get a gift. No, no, because Mother's Day. I feel like you should talk Damn. to. I mean, you not like you should be able to talk to your kids. Hey, man. Like, I would talk to my kids. And be like, oh, you know what? We're not together anymore. Like, I don't have to. Mom's you know, not getting any gifts. <laughs> no, because it's like I'm not. You know, I'm not. I don't know. Like you know, I don't feel like <laughs> you don't interrupt. It's like saying. <laughs> I do. <laughs> in that case, it's like saying, would you get her a gift on her birthday, or would you get her a gift on Christmas, that, or would yeah. you get her a gift? You know what I'm saying? So you can like, still have a respect for somebody without having to buy them a gift. Like you don't. Yeah. It's not a bad relationship because you don't buy them a. Yeah, I don't feel like you're a bad. That you're not you with that. like I mean it's cool you're a fucking awesome person if you do I guess hey. but you're not a bad one if you don't right you can't. okay or no <laughs> no no dude I, every time you do that I think yeah, that you're like, you're like oh, fuck you guys <laughs> <laughs> yeah. no I don't feel that way hey. but the pussies around here yeah that's exactly what I'm saying I'm sorry. hey it's a <laughs> it's <laughs> shut this shut, shut all this stop <laughs> wrap it up back there done <laughs> We're still going. We're still going. Todd, stop. Todd, leave. It's the motherfucking Lab Boys, episode 49. Sean, I know you got another topic before we get out of here, man. All right. Before we get out of here. All right. Maybe something to bring the Lab Boys. A little spicy. Bring us home. Some It was a pop culture topic, and I didn't know it was going to be the last one. So, let's talk about this stuff we're going to talk about. Huh? Okay, now, yeah, you hit me with last one. No. Okay, so the whole Takashi thing, man. Takashi. Oh, there we go. Oh, yes. Yes. Uh, okay, is he paying you? Uh, man. Huh? Is he paying you for the no, feature? No, he's Should not. Be is Costco not. paying you well, for the No, but he is a Costco <laughs> member. And I looked at <laughs> see, see, I knew Takashi the drop. Is a Costco I knew the drop was coming, dude. Um, no. It's so, a bit. I've been following the whole shit. He's in federal prison, right? Everyone's talking about he's not going to get out. He's not going to get out. Right? Right, he's but I watched. But he's getting I, out. I saw a court document, and now everyone's saying that he will be given no prison time yeah. because of his cooperation with <gasps> the snitched. government and all what? the people that he's been snitching on. <gasps> um, he's about to get murdered, bro. So do you think Ooh. that that was the card he should have played? Um, what do you What do you think? I feel he's panic. Oh, my bad, go. It's tough to say. I've never been in that situation, so I can't really say. Oh, I, I feel like safe he, answer. I feel like he panicked. I mean, you really can't, man. Like, that's, you know, the decisions that he made leading up to that point say a lot about his character, but also he's in a situation that is, you know, do or die. Life or death. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know. It's like I said before, dude, I feel like he had, he did what he had to do. Um, and, like, how, like, it did, did the gang actually, like, set him up? Do you guys know? Does, does it say anything about that? Or? Um, apparently they had plans to kill Cause, him. Yeah, yeah dude, if, if it was like that, he's fighting, dude, and he's, like I said, dude, it's war, it's so he has to do what he has to do, and if that's diming people, like, okay, uh, that one movie, what was it, with Denzel, <laughs> American Gangster? But yeah. it was more than gang stuff. Bro, no, but I'm saying like he, uh, Denzel in that movie, he also, he him. ratted all, all the fools out. He snitched, right? And he, I mean, no yeah, one Yeah, but they, they, but those people that he snitched on, they tried Wait, to do Is that a movie? Too. Well, American that's Gangster. what I'm saying. Talking about, oh, okay. Yeah, well, like, 
And Takashi's gang, right? They they try to do him dirty too. Look, I think so. there's there's some things wrong with it. Something's right with it, dude. I think he should, dude. He shouldn't. Have, he subscribed to this lifestyle, right? A lifestyle that he really wasn't about at the end of the day, right? But at the end of the day, I said at the end of the day. Sorry. At the end of the day, he, dude. This is he's looking at fucking his whole life in fucking prison, and you're gonna go down for people that you know. Fucking like tried you, to fucking kill you. It's like, you it's like why do I owe you any fucking loyalty? Yeah, you shouldn't have tried to me, fucking right? kill me. <laughs> but let's say they didn't. Him doing that, is it still no, then something? If they, if, if they were loyal to him, dude, and he was doing, then he's doing that, that's then that's, dude, that's, that's just not. another story. Because that goes, that goes back to what you were saying. Like, he chose that life, mm -hmm. you know? And he all of a sudden, he's backing out because some shit went down and he's snitching all his homies out. Then he's being... It's hard to tell because I don't think we know the full story. Yeah, we don't and know I don't think we'll story. ever know the full story. It's going to be... Uh, I know the full story. It's going to be... It's gonna, okay, Peter I just feel like that. Like, I'm if the gang right was setting now. him up and he <laughs> did that to retaliate, yeah. that's dope. If not, then fuck. Either way, though, he has to watch his back, man. Even if he's like, he can't watch his back without six nine on his face. No, space. well, he might. I, I feel like he might. So he let me like let me direction. ask you this question because this came up uh, on another podcast. But if How he many if he came know. out and he made music, if he got out and somehow he was able to, <laughs> I was I've been thinking about it. And he was able to release music. Do you think that people would fuck with him? Yeah, I think people who are okay. Here's my thing that you guys aren't talking about. That that's why I'm like concerned to bring this up because I don't know what you guys I'm know. I'm concerned about you guys. But <laughs> no. Yes. Here's, um, here's why I'm concerned about you guys. Here's why I'm concerned <laughs> about all yeah. of you guys. Um, <laughs> there are like a lot of rumors and actually like evidence in the prosecution against him that he is somebody that pursues underage girls and has had sex with underage girls. No, that's old, and that's not that was. But true. I'm just saying that that's what's being brought up in court too. So in my opinion, because I don't know the full story, which mm -hmm. we all were just saying, right. I would not fuck with him because that's what I know, and I'm not gonna just be like, oh, he's not because. Right, Google right, said right. he's not. So I don't know. The, yeah, yeah. The, and all the gang stuff, and, and, and people do get fed into that. And people know that. Like growing mm. up as a kid, they can get started really young. And it sucks that they have to go to prison for all that stuff. But yeah. there's just so much that's involved in that case. That we don't know. That we don't know. We so it's know. so hard. But I don't. I think some people would continue to fuck with him, though. Yeah, I think, yeah, I feel there like are fans. people that he, still I feel like do. He has loyal yeah. Fans. yeah, he has yeah. loyal fans. Yeah, he, he has, he has a, a following. And, and you know, Nicki Minaj supports him. <laughs> no, I'm serious. Yeah, no, I know. Yeah. But I also think, like, when you get out and people will be mad about the host nation, then people are gonna talk shit about it for a while. But dude, I think if you just keep going after a couple of years, people are just like, man, I don't give a fuck anymore. Everybody but is. But Chris Brown. What? He went to. He was like in a huge court trial that was like popularized through culture and like yeah. everyone, a yeah, lot of people left. Everybody. And still continue to. No, nah, but but then he got all those fans fucking back. Like not those same fans, but he got. People I still guess, fucking yeah. Getting I mean, it's just interesting he, that it has happened before. I think time just people forget. Not I mean, not they forget. I think a, a majority of people forget. Yeah. I think I, uh, I think he can. I think definitely his fans will listen to his music. But the question is, what's he gonna rap about? Uh, he'll say it's stupid. No, he'll find something. I mean, you like, he'll find he'll something. Find some <laughs> had to snitch, but <laughs> come on, dude. Had to he snitch would. Get out, you would do it too. <laughs> yeah, he would. <laughs> You would do it too. Ah, you would do it too. Uh, dead. Hey, it's called you would do it too. <laughs> yeah, you don't fucking say. Do it too. Hey, I uh, actually had one more topic uh, before oh, yeah. we get out of here. Fuck yeah, dude. Fuck. I, I had a question. Did, no, it's okay. Did you have any topics you wanted to hit us with before me? we get out of here? Yeah. Hit them. Me? Any. Do I look like a topic type? <laughs> do I look like a topic type? I, I, don't, I can't think um, of anything. So I'm going to ask you a question uh, that my sister asked me to ask a very long time ago. Ooh. And the question is. Is it okay to monkey Is it okay to look at other people when you're in a relationship? What? To look yes. at other people? I know, I know. I, I said uh, Dude, I said yes. It fucking happens. It happens. My yeah. eyes just yeah. I mean like, it's you not can't block over. Your fucking, yeah. <laughs> nah, but I feel like no, there's like don't check people out. Like don't yeah. be disrespectful. Yeah, yeah, there's there's, there's, there's <laughs> Woo! Hey babe. Nah, there's Woo! Really, oh, there's dudes that I see like when walking down the street or so or whatever, like you can you can and you see think it. They're you, hot. No, no, you oh. see it. Like <laughs> <laughs> no, you I knew he was gonna say that. 
it again. I was gonna make the joke in <laughs> fun. You see those dudes? Like, like, oh, <laughs> yeah, I know. You, I know you saw the joke before right, it happened. Right, right, right. And he's like, "Who wanted to get Is this funny to me? Because it's like <laughs> it's funny to me. Oh <laughs> uh, no, no! Are you gonna be all right? Let me finish. Let me finish. Cool. Let me finish. No, no, go, go. No, okay, go. Good, I'm good. I'm gonna do that on the Lab Boys podcast. You think they don't want to hear you finish? They want to hear you finish. You said when you see certain guys, you see them looking at other people. No, I seriously forgot what I was saying. You said you see them looking at. She just reminded you. No, no, when you're walking down the street and you see jeans. I have seen people. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, my bad. So, you're walking down the street, right? Mm -hmm. And you'll see, like, some girl, you know, wearing, like, yoga pants or, or whatever. And then it's, like, a family, right? Yeah. And you see the dude, like, the husband just, like, straight up rubbernecking like crazy. So, it's, like, I feel like that's where it's, like, kind of, like, bro. Like, wait, if, if somebody What's else can see you, notice it and shit, and your wife is, like, right there, like... Look, I don't know, like, it, yeah, it happens, but I feel like I you, you that, should have more control. But I don't think like that's that. an example where you need to fucking stop. Like, sometimes, like, you just see things, and sometimes you, it catches your attention for long enough, and you're going to look. No, yeah. And just because they see you. Like, dude, don't, like I said, don't be obnoxious about it. Don't be like. No, but that's what I mean. That's what I've seen. People, like, guys be obnoxious about yeah. it with their freaking wife right yeah, there that's, next to them. That's just and that's, dude, that pisses me off. I'm just like, of course. Damn. Dude, you know, like, of course. Fucking guy, yeah, like, of course. <laughs> no, I mean, dude, I'm just trying to, like, damn, yeah, I feel it. Yeah, exactly. Oh, brother. 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 Oh, Sometimes you like you know you look up and you see and then like it's happened to me where I'm with my girl I look up and I'm like oh and then I'm like oh shit you know like yeah I snap out of it or whatever but it's like it's not like yeah I'm not, like, I, I think know, people should like, understand so wrong, that dude. there are other attractive people in the world and sometimes yeah. you get it just depends on what you do with it <laughs> like, yeah. you know what I mean show some control show I, some restraint yeah. like but and respect you don't have to, I mean you don't have to block your fucking eyes I have to do you know what I mean that's what I'm saying and I always tell my I'm like look at that I mean she's hot what are you gonna do. Yeah. No, but see, that's another that's thing. Cause cool. back in the day, my girl used to do that to me. And that pissed me off, dude. Ooh, She'd be like, "Oh, you don't think she's hot? Oh, you don't think she's?" I'm like, "Dude, that's you, a trick question." Like, you really want me to look? Like, trick really question. That's a trick, to though. I'm that's a trick. Oh, that's what you meant. Damn. No, I mean, like, we're like, oh, she she's hot You guys are together. both vibing. She means the we're both like, we should make a Tinder and try to match up with that girl so she can come up. Whoa. Hey. Yep. Yeah. That's what you gotta do, man. That's well, so what you really gotta do. Make a joint tender. <laughs> it's a lit voice. <laughs> uh, <laughs> lit voice. <laughs> it's a fucking loud voice out there. He's opening it up. And like, oh, oh, it shit. Up. <laughs> oh, yo, actually, before we get out of here, Eman, can you show him the phone? <laughs> can you oh, the iPhone this is what's too. Happening. Oh, 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 wait, no, no. Hold on. I got one more topic before we get Hold on. You gotta compare it, though. Compare it, dude. Oh, the iPhone. Okay, 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 stop, stop it, stop, this is weird. Okay, okay, uh, well, email, all, the, 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 what's the real topic here is Eman has an iPhone 2, and it's sad. It is. It's sad. No, it's, it's sad. not. It's fucking cute. <laughs> Ew, Look at it. the finger placement when you're holding it up there, dude. Ew. Uh, <laughs> Ew. Yo. Uh, Ew. Yo. Like that, man. Yo. Uh, I, got, I, got a, I got a topic, and I want to call Eman out. Oh, uh, we only have nine minutes left, so hold on. Okay, Eman, leave, dude. quick. We got nine hold minutes. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Gonna zip no, up his fucking vest and leave, So, we have... Uh, hold on, we had a, a horrible podcast. <laughs> stop, yeah, we, stop speaking for me, please. We <laughs> shot. Oh yeah, we shot a podcast. Yep. This podcast did not do well. In we're off far, our game. We're off our game. We're off our game. As far as views, it didn't do well. We saw somebody disliked the fucking YouTube video. We, broke it broke it, my heart. In, in broke our, my in heart our, in two. In our group chat, we were texting like, "Yo." Dude, this is the first podcast that somebody disliked. Actually disliked. <laughs> and we found out that E-Man was the guy that fucking disliked E-Man was the one. Bro. Tell me what was going through your head. I disliked the podcast. Damn. I, Some I'm honesty. Sorry. It'd be your own. I'm sure, I'm sure everyone admires really that. Be that be like, no, 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 no. I didn't think it was going to be like that much of a blow to you. I'm sorry for that. <laughs> like, no, I really, no, I fainted for two hours, dude. That was gone. I was Broke out. my little heart. No, yeah. I was out. I can imagine. Like, like, no, I was, no, but. I texted text my mom. Honestly, no, no, like, honestly. Call that at work, dude. Couldn't do it. I think I was just watching it. I was just watching it, and I felt like. It was just one of those moments where it's just, it wasn't even you guys. Like, I cringed on, like, something that I said or something that's on oh. this, and I disliked it, you Fuck know? But it was Maybe like, you should send Eman a DM. And then after, after you guys mentioned it, I 
took it off. You know? <laughs> I was like, Snatched up. But hey, they were never the same after that. <laughs> Nothing was the same. <laughs> no, the damage you is done. Drink, the damage is done, dude. You were there I'm sorry, guys. Uh, next, next one, I'll give it a thumbs up. Don't. Hey! <laughs> and that's oh, the motherfucking oh, Lab Boys podcast. We only have 10 seconds left. That's what that little button is telling me. Uh, so we got to get out of here. Thank you guys so much. It's episode 49. Thank you so much for being our guest. Uh, next week, February 25th, we invite you Lab Boys to live, baby. with us live with the motherfucking Lab Boys. Be a part of the audience ask a question uh that'll be featured on the podcast thank you guys so much we'll see you next time we have five seconds left to show you know, hit up. that red subscription button and then the post notification bell that way you get reminded every time we release a video peace out <laughs> boys episode 49